All my life I had to fight like Sophia Right my wrongs in this world that's full of evil Most of the faces looking at me are real deceitful I don't believe Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Empress K. On today I will be doing a collective mid-April 2022 predictions. We are almost ending April. So this is from the, the middle of April to the end of your feelings, what's transpiring, what's going on. Um, I definitely see here with the work waiting for in the Queen of Cups that you have been wondering if either you giving too much or you should draw back your energy or if things are going to go the way you plan them to go or if you should start playing the field and just withdraw your energy from someone um so i do see you questioning on how much love to give or is it even worth it giving this person your love and i do see spirit is saying that divine timing is at work in your love life meaning that they are taking things into their hands so this is out of your hand you no longer have control over what is about to happen and i do see that it is worth waiting for look at that with the real part i do see you getting your heart's desires i do see that you're gonna feel complete you're gonna feel fulfilled when it comes to this connection mm -hmm. okay so a star card came popping out in reverse and the king of swords so i do see that this person has has it on their mind that they haven't been giving you what you deserve um they are no longer about to argue with you about this okay, let's switch the lighting they're no longer about to argue with you when it comes to this matter i do see that they're going to hold themselves accountable for whatever it is that's been going on in this connection okay i do see that they're going to work on a connection with you with the four, four of wands Okay, so you may have got this person in their head a lot, a lot here. I do see with the King of Pentacles that this person is going to bring stability. Um, they're going to bring loyalty. Look at that. <laughs> they're going to actually bring something to the table. So this person, that's why Spirit is telling you that it's worth waiting for because stability is going to come out of this connection. Stability is going to come out of this connection. And I do see that you're going to be happy that you waited around for this person. It's going to elevate here. Look at this. I can't make this up. With the Ten of Cups, you're going to feel fulfilled. You're going to feel fulfilled again. I do see with the Chariot that things are going to go the way that you plan them to go. I do see you guys overcoming some obstacles. So, they could just be a little bit distraction. Uh, it's like it's not... The problem is not that big for you guys not to be able to fix it. With the Six of Swords, this person wants you guys to move forward. They want you guys to either move away physically or just move away from this energy to where you guys don't feel fulfilled. With the Ace of Cups here, I do see that this is a wish fulfillment. I do see that this is going to be an overflow. Like I said, this is going to expand. So, I do see that this person is going to extend their cup to you and it's not going to end. So, this person is going to be around for the long haul. If that's what you've been worried about, is this relationship going to last? It will last. This person is not definitely not letting go with the Page of Pentacles here. This person is going to try to offer you something. They're coming in with an offer. This person could be younger or just have a youthful spirit. Mm hmm but they coming in with justice cards you're gonna get your justice everything is gonna go in alignment the way that you want it to with the knight of pentacles they're gonna take action they're gonna take action they're gonna work on this they're gonna um fight for you guys connection this is like a knight going to war but it's like they coming in with something it's like okay they rushing in with something in their hands something to offer here with the sun card i do see that there's gonna be happiness joy um a prospering time for you and this person yeah that's why spirit is saying to wait don't give up too soon don't give up too soon on your person with the hermit here i do see that your person is going to be doing some deep soul searching and with the seven of swords this person is going to be taking what they learned okay they're going to be <laughs> it's like they learned you it's like all the things that y'all went through, they're like, okay, this my person don't like this. They don't like that. They don't want this. They don't want that. So we're going to leave. We're going to take those lessons behind and we're going to leave whatever that they don't like behind. So it's like they taking the mistakes that they have made with you and turning it into some gains. So it's like you teaching this person. So your person is in student mode learning you. Okay, so they're, learning, they're over there learning you, getting to know you. 
getting a, getting a deeper um, input on you. It's like, yeah, they learning. That's why Spirit is saying they getting, they getting there. Just give them some time. Just give them some time. I do see let go of control issues is here. So a lot of things to unfold naturally between you and this person. Don't try to force anything or don't try to um resist either. Because I do see that within people don't change overnight, you guys. It takes some time. It, it it takes time. Just like it takes time for you to change. It takes the other person time to change too. I do see that there's look at look at this. I said that there's some distractions here. It's time for you guys to retreat. It's time for you guys to disconnect. It's time for you guys to have some alone time. I do see that this person is gonna come in extending their heart to you. So be lighthearted. I do see that they're gonna come in extending their love and you just gonna be looking at it like, okay, it look good. It look good, but is this is this real? Is this is this who you really are? Or is you pretending? Um, because before, you know what happened before, it's like you reminding this person of what they've done. And they like, I learned from that. I learned from that. And I do see calling in your soulmates. I do see that your prayers has definitely been answered. That's why Spirit is telling you to hold off leaving this person. And don't give up too easy. Don't give up too easy here. I do see that there are some romantic feelings. And like again, they said, it is worth exploring. So it is worth the, you won't be wasting your time. And I do see very soon, you're going to notice, I do see a clearer decision is going to be made. It say clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. So decide on what you need from this person and what you want. Because um, for some of you guys, you probably be like, that's not enough. That's not enough. And your person is asking like, what, what is enough? What do I have to do? What is enough? And you like, um, well, I know you did this and I didn't like this. And that's not really answering their question. Because it's like they feel like you're judging them or you passing judgment on them because of what they've done in the past versus you just telling them, well, this is what we're going to have to do to get things done. And in order for y'all to get to this level, though, y'all going to have to spend time with each other and get rid of the distractions, the phones, the other people inside y'all connection. Um, even take a break from the kids. If you guys have kids together or they're a step parent and y'all just need some time to yourself here. With unrequited love, you feel like this person is not extending their love enough or they're just not giving you enough. With religious factors, you and this person may have a different um, religious path or a different upbringing. Y'all may not be the same here. Okay, Spirit, what else? And it's time to free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life here. And I do see release your ex. So there's somebody ex that's coming in or at least that's trying to stop this connection. This person may not want you guys to go to the next level here. So let's get some love messages out from your person because I do sense that this person really care for you. So your person is used to diving in and out of relationships. This is something new to them. This is something new. They have never felt this way before. <laughs> and they, they trying. They trying. But it's like they can't. they like, every time when I try, I just make it worse. So what I got to do? Just tell me. Mm -hmm. They do miss you. So they miss. They miss everything. They miss everything about you. The times that you guys had, the times that you guys shared. I do see that you left an imprint, an imprint on this person, and they wish they could take it back. So it's like when you when you say those things that they did in the past, it it make them feel regret. It make them feel a lot of hurt towards it. That's why they don't like you bringing it up because they are even upset about themselves that they even did that to you. They did not mean to hurt you, but they do abandon people to make themselves feel better. So they so used to being in this pattern to where they leave and the other person chase behind them and this boosts their ego, this feed their ego here. And it's like they finally met they match with you because it's like you're not, I'm not chasing. I'm not no chaser. You could be a runner, you could be a track star, all you want, but I'm not chasing. You're going to be running by yourself and when you look up, I won't be behind you. <laughs> And I do see that you are the person of their dreams. So it's like you make them want to change here. You make them want to be a better person. And look at it. There is so much that they want to tell you. But it's like it's so much distractions that they you guys can't find the time to sit down and have this heart-to-heart -heart conversation that y'all need to have. Um, it's like y'all spending time together, but it's not y'all time. It's like maybe y'all have to, like I said share that time or there's some people involved or you guys got a household full of people or y'all just got nosy people in y'all business but there's definitely some distractions here 
And they was pretending to be someone that they wasn't. Mm -hmm. Maybe they was pretending to have it all together or like they didn't care at first because they used to pretending and not caring. But now that they do care, they don't know what they want. They confused. Right now, they conflicted. That's why the divine say, let us work on this person and you just focus on you and let us work on this person. Don't worry about them. Don't worry about what they got going on. This is not your battle to fight. This is ours. So they are reminiscing over there. They are reminiscing about the times, the good times that you guys had. They are, that's why I'm saying they're trying to put their finger on some things. It's like they going back down memory lane and saying, okay, this person didn't like this. They didn't like that. They didn't like this. It's like they putting a the puzzle together. They putting the pieces together on what it is that you want. But they want you to really tell them so they can know they're working towards the right thing. This person is planning on reaching out towards you. For some of you guys, you are not with this person or y'all just haven't been communicating on a right level. So if you are in a connection with this person, the communication just been off. And they plan on reaching out to make that communication better. For some of you, I, I hear for some of you guys, y'all are in a connection and y'all are literally living together and not talking to each other, not sleeping in the same room. Um, <laughs> some pettiness going on here. But they are afraid of commitment. That's the main problem. They're afraid of commitment. They're afraid of, they're afraid of settling down here. They're afraid of settling down, putting all their eggs in one basket. This got them real nervous. And I do see that they feel like you deserve better. And this is your twin flame that you're dealing with here. And the only reason why they pulled away because they have a lot going on in their life. They are intimidated by you. And they still are checking on you from afar. And you are the love of this person's life. So Spirit is saying... Be genuine with this person. Be cautious with this person. I really feel like this person been hurt too. And that's why they play that role of not caring. Because they didn't care before. And it didn't work out good. Let's get, some, let's get one more oracle card. Let's get some advice here. Spirit, what advice do you have for Aquarius? What advice do you have here? Okay, look at that. Surrender. It says, at times we must surrender the old before new can enter our lives. Let go and all will work out. So they said, once you surrender, once you surrender onto the universe, once you surrender this connection, this will be new. Out with the old, in with the new. Mm -hmm. And I do see that it said, if you could do anything, what would it be? The answer dwells in your heart, not in your mind. For the heart is the gateway to the soul. So Spirit is saying, follow your heart, not your mind. Follow your heart. What is your heart telling you to do? If you could do anything to fix this relationship, what would it be? And explain this to this person because that's what they're waiting for. And it do say, beware of what you are projecting for the qualities you admire in one another are qualities you both possess equally. So the qualities you don't like are also your own reflection. So this is a twin flame. This is clarifying that this is a twin flame. So what you focus on is what you're going to get out of this person because they mirroring you. Your twin flame is your mirror, right? Okay, so it say deep in your heart, you already know the answer. Do what feels right. I said that. Go with your heart versus your mind here. And a message for you from your person directly. I'm thinking of you this very moment. Your love fills me with light. I love you. So this person is on a journey here. They on a journey. They're trying to meet you where you are. Um, and I do see for some of you guys, you have been pressuring this person. And this person may have shut down and you like to hell with it because they shut down. But it's like the reason why they shut down is to come, is to um, give you what you need here. They wanna, they wanna cater to you. They wanna, they wanna give you those qualities that you never had in someone else because they know that that's what they would want. So give this person some time, Aquarius. Don't, don't put a time limit on your person. Please don't do that because you will get discouraged and you will give up. And I do see that that's what's going on. So don't put a time frame on this change that you are looking for within this person. Just allow things to flow naturally. Um, this was you guys mid April 2022 predictions. 
Um, make sure you leave a thumbs up, comment below. Let me know what you got going on. I do give out purse. I do give personal readings, one-on-one -on -one readings with me. I am doing um, buy one get one all month long until May. So make sure you guys take advantage of that. The description is in the box below to do so. And I also do donate readings on TikTok. All my information is in the bio. I mean, I can say bio in the description box below. I'm so used to doing TikTok, and I just got through doing it. So. Check in the description box. Everything that you need to know is there. Once again, thank you, you beautiful souls. I hope that you guys are doing good. And I wish you blessings for the rest of April and the beginning of May. Until I see you guys again.